this is just I again. I'm here to show you a simple trick, not actually a trick. Um, as you well know what we do, I am here to present following each one teach one. And each one teach one, we bridge the gap between the mentors and the mentees and the continent. And we are also running a class right now. It's called uh, IT Foundation and AWS Cloud Training. Code name is IFAC. This is sponsored by Lockdown LLC. <clears throat> And today, I wanted to show to those that were in the class yesterday, on Sunday actually, um, some of the ways that, you, how you can handle a module, what a module could do. Uh, almost In Python, almost every function could be treated as a module. So when you are looking for a library that's not in built in the language, uh, you wanted to create one. So you can simply create one. And the, in Python, it's called the module. You can create a module to perform specific function for you. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show a simple module that can help you calculate the uh, area of a triangle. It's not really complicated. I just wanted to show it. So um, let's go take a look at the line of codes here. So in the line of code, I'm just using a simple um, editor, just, uh, you know, just uh, uh, notepad plus plus. So in the line of code here, you have we're doing uh, just a simple thing. Um, okay, we're gonna calculate the uh, area of the triangle. So we're gonna do half base times height. BH, okay, that's what we're gonna do. So, all right, that's fine. All we can do have x, have x of y, right? So it's something like that. So let's have it that way. So here we are writing a, a pretty much a function, just like the way you write a function. If you look at it, we define the function. And it took two arguments. Uh, we printed, meaning we uh, displayed something, and then we also uh, declared the uh, the arguments variable and we typify them by making them an integer and we are asking the user to enter those information like enter whatever the user enters will be assigned to x and uh, if it enters a second time the next one will be assigned to y and as it's doing that uh, we also have an area and then we're saying that uh, uh, that variable area there uh, that is equal to the mathematical function right there so we say now print area of a triangle is the area itself. So that name of the variable is area and is assigned to that mathematical formula. Whatever the the action of the mathematical formula is what goes to the area. So we print that out and we come below there and we included uh, the version. So we said the version is uh, 1.0 in a string as you can see there. And that's just that. That's just a function. Okay. So look at every function could be a module, but now you want to call that that uh, function which is a part of the whole module. So this is uh, where we import that module or we import that function. Well, we call it the module because that's how it's done in Python. But within the implementation aspect of it here, we have to use the dot operator to kind of call the function directly. And as you can see, I initialize the values to zero because I don't know what is going to be entered. And now I print module version, and you already know I use the cloud module dot up to access that version, which is equal to 1.0 already. So basically, it's going to read module version 1.0. So now let's go and run this and see what we get. Uh, let's make sure we save them up. Let's make sure we save this up. So let's go and run it. So you want to go to CMD. I'm on Windows, okay? I do CD. I want to get to the root of C, which is here, and I do DIR. It's not like I'm going to see what I'm looking for, but apparently I have a, I have a good eye. Oh, good eyes. I saw it was right there. That's what I'm looking for. So I change directory to that. And this is what I get. I do DIR. You can see the two modules right there. The two uh, files that make up the module. 
and I make sure I put this two files in the same folder as you can see they are all under PyTEST okay so to run this all I have to do is do Python okay and I put the name of that the file there that is gonna uh, call up the function or a part of the module that has the function in it so this is what we do we run it you say we want to calculate a rectangle and it's, it's gonna ask me to enter the size like what we see here in the actual function so I'm gonna go and enter something there uh, let me enter 10 for the base and I enter for uh, the height I'll enter maybe I'll enter 20 so that way you can bear witness to the calculation so the answer there is 100 right so 5 times 20 is pretty much 100 as you can see it's very simple uh, this is what I have this video is for my students so they can look at it and see what correct and what I give them thank you guys again for watching my video I'll keep doing the best that I can to create simple um, you know codes to help people embrace Python my goal is to help a lot of people to get into IT because the, there's going to be a great change in the time that we are living in. There's going to be a lot of work being done online and there's going to be a lot of changes and technology will rule the day. So I'm doing the best that I can so our women could be a part of this thing. Demystifying technology is a key for the 21st century to get a lot of women in it and that way to get our children in it. As you can see, we've done it again. This is Josiah on H1 Teach One, and I am signing off. Take care now. Bye.